All right, we just stopped here to uh, get fuel. We're going to walk around real quick, double check, make sure all of our pins and all of our straps are holding up properly. Give a quick look around, make sure nothing has shifted, which at this point isn't going to be a huge ordeal. Seems how uh, we only have about another half mile to go to uh, to deliver. We just got to go down that road about a half mile. And uh, all but these top three come off at this first dealership. But everything's looking good. We're going to finish fueling up and catch you guys in a bit. All right. So just uh, set that there for a second. Just turned around and got me some coffee because the way I came up, there wasn't uh, any truck stops or anything. It's all back roads getting over here, but most of the deliveries in Alabama tend to be back roads. But either way, I had to get some new work gloves, and I, I really like these kind, just the leather work gloves, but man, they are expensive at the truck stop. My work gloves that I had, if you can't tell, I've kind of uh, worked through them, but uh, so we'll keep, I always keep two sets of work gloves. I'll keep that set around for until these ones start to get holes in them, because that way if you get work gloves get soaked or come on. If they get soaked or they uh, get torn early every now and then, you'll buy a nice set of work gloves like this. These things were freaking $20. I usually go to uh, – uh, I don't like buying them at the truck stops. I usually go to uh, – what is it called? Rural King or over to uh, – get out of this truck stop here. Over to Rural King or over to uh, – Man, I can't think of the name of the place. Tractor Supply. Those are where I usually get my work gloves. But uh, they're not that expensive there. But either way, let's go get this load delivered. I will see you guys over at the dealership in a second. Thanks. Bye. All right. So just got over here. I guess we're going to get to check out our new gloves that I overpaid pretty substantially for not thrilled about that i'm trying not to rip them they put these staples in and every now and then you rip a giant hole in the glove that you just purchased i'm not not a fan of those but we are going to give these things a whirl hopefully they last my last ones lasted about uh, about four or five months so we're gonna get out here and i'll set you guys up so you can watch see you in a minute
we just got done pulling off our vehicles. I wanted to jump in here and see how long it took me to pull them all because the vehicles were everywhere. Um, and there's really no organization here. They got them in rows, but have fun walking them because you can count all the way up to the row it's in. And like mine, it's supposed to be in row 5, 118. It ended up being in row 14, spot 34, which is on the other side of the racetrack. So we found all of our vehicles. We're going to get loaded up here. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. And then we'll talk about what it is like to be here at United Road. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Let's go get loaded. Let's uh, get down the road here a little ways. See. All right. So we just got down here to Georgia to deliver to the Chrysler dealership right here. Um, this was a fairly easy load to get on. I'll show you guys what we did. Uh... First one, we ended up putting it in, dropping it down, opened the pockets all the way up like it was a uh, pickup truck, and we got this down to like 13.2. Actually came down a lot lower than I expected, which was cool. And then this one here, we dropped it all the way down into the bottom pin, well I did, and then uh, put it into the truck pockets or the drop pockets here. Had to get out three or four times because if you can't tell. That back tire is pretty close to the back of the truck. So, just wanted to uh, make sure we weren't going to drive that into the back of the truck there. And this one up top, this was fairly easy. I mean, we could have slid it in further if we wanted to, but this just dropped it down hole 8 on the back back here. And as low as we needed to there, this is down to like 13.2. This one here over the truck just loaded it like it was a normal pickup truck. With this one down into the belly and uh, dropped it in the truck pocket. Same thing. Didn't actually need to do it because this came down to height. And this is only at like when I measured it with all the excess space underneath. This was down at, uh, this is down at, I think it was at like 13 foot. And then obviously the one in the very back just throw some straps and dropped it down. So. This is a fairly easy load. I'm going to get this off, and then uh, I'll see you guys in a second. We'll talk about United Road here. So if you guys have any questions, also drop them in the comments below. And in the next uh, live chat, I will try to answer those questions for you guys. But I'll see you all in a minute. All right, guys. So earlier today, I recorded a whole big, long thing about United Road, about working here, and, and my thoughts of it. After being here for a bit over two years, we're going on like two and a half at this point. Uh, I originally started in November, November two years ago, was that 19, 20, 20, 2020 thing, 2020. no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, uh, November 2019 was when I started here at United Road, um, so I guess I could do a pretty honest opinion of how I feel United Road is to work for if you're planning on coming over here. Um, if you go back and watch my videos, I have a, like a top five or top ten reasons why I'm here at United Road that did that video like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, but so I kind of wanted to do a rebuttal on that video after being here for a while and my opinions. Um, honestly, I still love it. There is nothing I could really say um, bad for the most part. Um, every company can do things a little bit better here or there. But for the most part, I would say United Road, for the way I personally run what I'm looking for out of a company, it really is pretty much the perfect, uh, perfect company for what I'm looking for. Um, where, where to start? So I guess I'll start with, with the reasons I'm here. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is going to be for my family. Um, and that has to do with home time and the benefits. Uh, the benefit program, I'm no expert in it, but I can tell you my opinion of what I have and what I use. And, and I have the best of everything United Road offers from the um, zero deductible plan. Um, which means literally my kids go to the doctor and there's no deductible. 
Um, you don't have to pay anything out of pocket for the most part. Uh, when, once you get into uh, like emergency rooms and stuff like that, it, it changes a little bit. But it's still a no deductible plan. I think then it's like a 80-20 or something like that. Again, don't quote me. I'm no expert. I haven't had to use any of that. Just the kids going to get their normal shots and physicals and the, the, the normal doctor stuff. Uh, ear aches for the little ones and sore throats. Um, for the most part, that, that works out real well. Prescription plans, um, I don't really have any complaints on that. Um, my wife gets her migraine medication through it and that that's about it we haven't had any issues there so that that works out real well for us i know they changed it uh last uh, this past year and i personally haven't had any major changes to what i use um not saying other people haven't been negatively affected or positively affected by it but for me i i don't, haven't seen anything that has changed um, and then we have the Best Dental, which we have never used yet. So I don't really have an opinion on that. I don't know how well that is. Just kids haven't needed to go to the dentist yet. Um, our oldest is getting ready to, his adult teeth are starting to come in. So it's going to be time for him to start getting some dental appointments. So we'll find out here over the, probably the course of the next year. And then you go into the vision um, both of my daughters wear glasses, um, unlike me and my wife, which is surprising. They are pretty much blind. Um, not, not completely, but um, their vision's pretty bad. So they, they both have glasses, and, and I would say that that's pretty fair. <clears throat> I could It could be better, but I'd rather have amazing health care and have the, den have the vision or dental be a little bit less. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain personally about that. And then you go into what else we have? I have my life insurance policy, and I think that's all the policies for insurances. And all of that is, I'm pretty sure I'm paying like 430 to 450 dollars a month. That's not much. It, it's actually a lot, lot cheaper than I expected. I, I used to pay over two grand uh, for health insurance. For that, at that point, it was just my wife, me, my wife, my son, and my wife was pregnant, and that was over two grand a month. So I'm very happy with uh, what we have for insurances here. And then <clears throat> the home time, I will say, it it. It works out perfect for me. I'm not going to say it's going to work out perfect for everyone, but it is exactly what I'm looking for out of a company. I make great money over 100k a year, and I'm home every weekend. Um, if I stay out, it's because I chose to stay out for for the weekend, make a little bit extra money like this time of the year, and we still have amazing overflow going on. So we are pushing. I'm pushing into a lot of Saturdays right now, just trying to. Uh, get the most out of my uh, paycheck that I can. This is our money-making time of the year. Um, but for the most part, like I said before, they let you kind of run the truck like you're an owner-operator, non-force dispatch. You're not you're not told when you call in, hey, um, I'm going to be unloaded here in a couple hours. What do we have for the next load? And it's not, um, hey, you're going to pick up here and you're going to Houston, Texas. And you're, you're sitting there going, well, wait a second, I, I need to get home, or I want to get home for the weekend. And they're going, well, you're going to Houston, Texas. So that, that's your next load. We, we, don't, we don't have any of that here. Um, for the most part, every time I call, um, my, my, my dispatch is just pretty much, hey, uh, where do you want to go? You're unloading in West Virginia. You're unloading in Georgia. You're unloading in Ohio. Where, where do you want to go? We can get you wherever you want to go. So you tell us what your plan is or... I'm coming back down to West Point. <clears throat> it's always, and we got work ever, going everywhere. So you want to go to Texas? You want to go to Oklahoma? You want to go up to Ohio, Virginia, West Virginia? Obviously, you guys know um, watching this, I always go to West Virginia because it gets me right past my house. Um, I can shoot up, eat dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever with the family, sneak in for an hour, and then continue up the road. Uh, so yeah, I, I tend to go to West Virginia as often as I possibly can. 
that is kind of my area that, that I want to run. Um, and, and they do, they, I've, I've seldomly had them, um, had them complain about me going anywhere. And, and usually, like I tell them all the time, like, look, I'm a team player. So if you need me to bail you out on something, as long as I'm making money and as long as I'm getting home, you just tell me like last week we were having, we have really good overflow. So what did I do? I just ran local stuff all, all last week. Um, uh, then what else do we got? That's pretty amazing here. Um, I, 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 mean, I would say just the structure of the company as a whole. Um, it's very family oriented. I know that's well, the, every company. Oh, we're, we're family minded. And, and really, I think United Road really is. You can reach out to anybody here. If you, you have a question or you have an opinion on something, you can call anybody. Everybody at this company is reachable, which is amazing. <clears throat> you don't have a, a CEO that's trying to hide behind nine layers of, uh, of, I guess, different parts of the company so you can't ever get a hold of them. If you really needed to get a hold of our CEO... I'm I'm fairly certain if you walked into the office, knocked on the door, he'd sit down and talk to you. So I I would say all of that is, is for me is is kind of a a great thing for for what I'm looking for out of a company. Um, we got fairly new equipment. I'm I'm in a year and a half old truck. That's great for me. Um. The maintenance programs and stuff like that, they seem to work pretty well, but I'm, I'm sure that doesn't, that's not a standout from most companies. Okay, so one of the other things that United Road really has to offer is they have a ton of yards. We have work everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are in this country, there's probably work for you, or at least they can get it within like a day. Um... Uh, I've I've never really been stuck anywhere. You might get a crappy load, but you can get out. So um, I I've, I hear a lot of complaints. A lot of people say United Road is cheap freight. It and 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 I and I want to address that because I've heard that from li literally tons of people. Um, probably and even in the, in the last two months, I've probably heard that from 15, 20 different people. That, oh, I, I'm not going to run for United Road. Their freight's cheap, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, their, their freight is probably cheaper than most companies out there. I, I Or some most of the companies, well, I don't even want to say most. There there are companies that have better paying freight, I will I will say. I mean, I've, I've heard talking to guys with Virginia or uh, Centurion, um, who else out there? You saw... Hanson Atkins, I well maybe not Hanson Atkins, but well that I, I I can't really say that I've heard some complaints on their cheap freight too, seen it on Facebook as well, but um I know a lot of the companies out there they have better paying per load freight, but United Road isn't a I guess you're not gonna make money killing it by the load the the, where, where United Road really excels is the number of terminals and rail yards and ports and stuff like that that they haul out of and plants. Where most of the time you're unloading and you're within anywhere from 25 miles to 100 miles of your next load. So you're, you're getting reloaded within an hour, hour and a half of wherever you're unloading for the most part. You might not be near a terminal, but we have tons of auction work. If you're not loading next to an auction, we have tons of, what do they call it, a remarketing work. Getting stuff from a rental car agency taken to another rental car agency. There's almost anywhere I've ever gone, I have work within an, an hour or two of a drive. At, at the top end, and I know a lot of companies out there, they we you might take a load for United Road going to West Virginia, and we're paying mid twos. Yeah, I would say mid twos. 
from West Point to West Virginia, where somebody else is going to go, well, our, our company is paying 3400 to go up there. Well, you're making much better money going to West Virginia. But the difference is I get in West Virginia and I have one, two, three auctions, usually within an hour of where I just delivered that I can load out of for CarMax or Carvana. Or I have a plant in Marysville, Ohio, about an hour and 45 minutes drive, I can go load at. There's also another auction right over there that I can go load at. Um, <clears throat> whereas a lot of these other companies, you deliver the same load to West Virginia. You made more than me. Congratulations. But your next load is Baltimore, Maryland. You got a five-hour, six-hour drive into D.C. area, Baltimore area, to get your next load. Or you're humping it over to Philadelphia or New Jersey to, to, to grab your next load, where we, we have work there, too. But our work is or, – or, but I, I have work closer. So now you, you grabbed – $3,400 load, and you're going to drive five, six hours to get your next $3,400 load. Well, that's great. You, you've just done $6,800, but you have your load in West Point, your day and a half drive, your half a day to go load. So now we're at a three-day run. You load, you have a day and a half drive to where you unload. Now you're at four and a half days. You only have a day and a half left of the week. And if you have another half day to go get your next load, well, you you got it on, but do you get it delivered in that same week? Where now here at United Road, I have that day and a half drive to go deliver, two hours over, I go load, and then I get another two, three hours back down the road, and I park for the night. The next day, I get up, and I drive almost to the end of my day and deliver another $2,400 load. I've done two $2,400 loads in three days. You've done one $3,400 load in three days. And that's kind of the way you got to look at it. The The way United Road can just, you can go load, 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 kind of zigzagging anywhere you want to go. You can go there and there's more work. The other nice thing is, like I said, you can go anywhere you want to go. If you want to be an OTR driver and stay out weeks at a time, United Road's got that. You want to be a regional driver like me, staying out on Monday through Friday, United Road's got that. You want to be a local driver where you get home every night, United Road's got that. We have the work here. And and, and I'm not saying you have to come over here, but I'm, I'm just telling you the reasons I'm here. But now, if you do want to come over here, if you... Have car hauling experience up to five years. Right now, they're offering a $15,000 sign-on bonus if you have five years of car hauling experience. And I'm sure that's within, like, the last year or two. So if you're a car hauler right now and you want to come over here, they're offering a $15,000 sign-on bonus. If you have three years, they're offering a three or a $10,000 sign-on bonus. And if you have, I think it's five years of OTR and one year of car hauling experience, they're offering a $5,000 sign-on bonus. If you don't have any experience and you want to get into car hauling, they also can do that here. They have a training program that they will teach you from knowing absolutely nothing about hauling cars to becoming a driver like me that has has 13 years of car hauling experience. Go, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of doing my 13th year right now. I have been doing car hauling only since 2009. And... I, like I've said, the, this is probably the company that I will retire from. I personally love it. Every bit of the work that they have and the way that they run the company and the insurance, that's, it's all what I'm looking for personally. This, all of it is what I wanted out of a company. And that's why I'm here personally. So, if you guys want to come over here, as always, guys, you know the links are down below for the uh, getting the uh, application. 
the links down below. Use me as a referral if I'm the reason you're coming over here. If I'm not, use whoever is the reason you're coming over here and you're just watching this to get a little bit more information. Um, my email and everything is down there. Go ahead and reach out if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. Um, I'm very approachable, so please just ask away. And always, all the other things are down there for uh, the Get Upside app to get money back on your fuel purchases the robin hood app if you want to start investing you should always invest take a little bit of money it goes a long way in the future um and then the uh my credit card that i use the capital one quicksilver card it's how we go on vacations it's how i take my kids to disney i add up those points all year long and at the end of the year we spend that take their kids on a good vacation but, guys, other than that, if you have any questions, please, please, please reach out. Um, like I said, I'm very approachable. I want to help you guys get into this industry, and I want to help you guys excel at it. I, I had nobody really to teach me how to haul cars in the beginning. I more or less learned on my own. Um, I didn't join a company. I started out in my own personal truck. I went out and I spent, I think it was like, I don't know. It was a seven or ten thousand dollars for the truck, and then it was seven or ten thousand dollars for the trailer. Um, I started on a three car wedge, guys, and I'm here hauling a ten car load almost every time. You guys can do it the same way I did, so please reach out, ask questions, and if not, guys, join. Come on over, and I will see you over here loading in one of these trucks. But other than that, guys, I love you. I will. See you on the next one.